today on Daring Abroad. Kenyans are remitting money to touch and transform lives. How Perth-based Daniela Demba is using his experience living in Australia to save lives of those addicted to substance abuse. And the best investment we can have is health. This as King's developers perfect the art of building gated communities through its latest project, Boma Estates. This is a viable project from a viable developer. Indeed, today's show is jam-packed with information from three different continents because we're taking you on a somewhat world tour from Australia, then the United Kingdom, and finally right here in the 254. It is a pleasure to have you with us as always. My name is Michael Zimanji. Let's start the show. Wow, hello there. I know you love daring abroad and here I have another fantastic story from Perth City in Western Australia. And I'm talking to Daniel Pate. Thank you. Uh, Pate, Thank Pate, you. Pate, Pate is uh, what, a Luya name? Yes, yeah. Pate is a Luya name. He, he comes from uh, Busia. Busia. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Busia. And Pate came to Australia. Which year was this? 2013. 2013 as, uh, as an international student. Uh, which university? University of Charles Darwin. Yeah, University of Charles Darwin. Da Darwin. And yes, um, uh, he's now a practitioner in the field of uh, alcohol, uh, alcohol and, and, dr drugs. and drugs. And you've, you may have heard stories uh, about people living abroad, Kenyans living abroad, the challenges they go through. One of the challenges is that area, I mean, drugs, alcohol. So let, let me just begin. First of all, did you come on a scholarship? How did you come? You were self-funded. I had been in uh, South Africa yeah. and then returned back home and uh, time came that I thought I needed to advance in my studies yeah. and Australia was a good destination. So I sold uh, everything I had mm -hmm. at the age of uh, 35 mm -hmm. and came for my uh, studies in Australia. And, and you had uh, been working in Kenya? Yes, mm -hmm. I had worked in seven Afri African countries mm -hmm. in the humanitarian uh, mm -hmm. services. Uh -huh. So what exactly do you do? I am an alcohol and other drug uh, practitioner mm. and uh, apart from that I'm also mm. the current champion mm -hmm. of uh, the organization yes. of uh, African Community, uh -huh. uh, the champion of the year 2023 yeah. yes. and I've been participating in the Kenyan community uh -huh. over the last 10 years yes. and uh, that in brief I'm also uh, a person who believes in remittances mm. back home and in this case I am also remitting uh, goodwill and I'm also remitting services that are philanthropic, that are charitable based. So yeah. we have a, a charity mm -hmm. that we're running called Med Insure. Med Insure is there to transform lives from Australia direct to Kenya in mm -hmm. surgical missions. Mm -hmm. So every year we'll be going to Kenya, a team of Kenyans living in Australia and the rest of the world, you are most welcome mm -hmm. to join us to transform lives one county at a time. And the best investment we can have is health. We shall be at uh, Busia Referral Hospital mm. and the famous Alupe mm. Sub-County Hospital. Mm. We know Alupe is known for triponosomiasis, mm. sleeping sickness, mm. but we are actually going there to do surgical mission for a week. Mm -hmm. First of December, to the 8th of December, we shall be in Busia, and next year we shall roll out to other counties, and you can follow us on our website to know how Made Insure is directly having an impact in people's lives. Mm -hmm. So let me go back to your field. So what have you observed? Uh, is it a big problem, you know, the problem of drugs and alcohol, and how are you helping to deal with it? Well. I'll say that I'm a v Australia is a very fortunate country. Mm. We have systems in place. Millions of dollars have mm. been invested in supporting people who are going through substance abuse. Mm. And by substance, we are not only restricting ourselves to alcohol mm. and other drugs. Mm. We have other forms of addiction. Mm. For example, gambling, mm. sex as an addiction. Mm -hmm. You know, there are people who have people addiction. Mm -hmm. There are so many. So we, we address addiction as a health issue mm -hmm. and we have moved away from the criminalization mm. of 
huyu amekunywa pombe au huyu anatumia miadarati mm. we are supporting and so i think the holistic approach is that uh, we can learn mm. uh, the australian way mm -hmm. that it has worked yes. over the, the systems here have worked mm. and many of us who are in the industry we feel that uh, we can transfer this knowledge back home and in these endeavors and what you are giving back to your country kenya who are you collaborating with oh that's a beautiful mm. thing mm. the kenyans have naturally and have always been sufficiently philanthropic. Mm. Why? If there is funerals at home, we give. Mm. Kenyans are remitting money to touch and transform lives. So it was a natural symbiotic relationship mm. where simply because we are in the West, it does not take away our philanthropy. What would you want to tell that Kenyan who wants to dare abroad? A good name is better than riches. Mm. And wherever you go, if you have goodwill, mm. if you respect people, if you are concerned about the welfare of others, if you have uh, the discipline and uh, you believe in a fair go, mm. this is the place to be. Mm. But I'll also be able to cautious people. Mm. Australia, unlike Europe and uh, the US, this is a place where mm. people live with very strict values. Mm -hmm. It is very easy for you to get into trouble if you come here with dodgy behaviors, mm. if you want to cut corners, please do not come to Australia. Mm. I humbly request you, try other places. But if you are a decent human being, this is the place to be. Wow. So you've had, uh, you know, Majusi, Mali, Kwapakua, Doji, and cutting corners, you know, you won't survive. And that's uh, the parting shot from Daniel. Asante sana, Asante Daniel, sana. for talking to us. Asante yeah, sana. Wakenya and, uh, you know, uh, people all over the world have heard you and you are eager to give back to your community back home. And I think uh, we wish you all the best. Eh? Thank you so much, sir. Asante sana. Much appreciated. Yeah, karibu tena Kenya, takuwa na kungoja huko. Asante, uh, yeah. asante sana. Yeah. Many thanks to Daniel Ademba there in Australia. Amazing work that he is doing, remembering his motherland. Now, speaking of remembering your motherland, Daring Abroad Investment Forums was in the United Kingdom. And here is how it went down. It was an event filled with lots of color and music as Kenyans from far and wide gathered at Pendley Manor in Trinktown, UK for a one-of-a-kind event. And welcome to Daring Abroad Investment Forum's UK chapter. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for that. Yes, the second leg of the Daring Abroad Investment Forum's 2024 was in full gear. For two days, exhibitors, delegates, participants and attendees came together all in the name of sharing and exploring investment opportunities in Kenya and the United Kingdom. From private sector to public, UK-based firms to industry titans from the 254, all sectors were well represented. My name is Sam Kasera from Unity Homes. Uh, Unity Homes is a residential developer and we are based in Tatu City. So for us, the reason why we chose Tattoo City to be able to invest in is because that's one of the most uh, well-planned cities or emerging cities that uh, we have in Africa. And then secondly, uh, because uh, we've had quite a number of investments or people coming in to invest at uh, Tattoo City from all over Africa, and not just Africa, uh, all over the world. We are saying this is the best time to invest in Diani because the government has done quite a lot in Diani as you know the bypass from Mombasa to Diani is already completed you know Diani has a history of uh, uh, hosting some of the richest people not just in Kenya but around the world uh, we have so many foreigners there British Germans Americans who settled there a long time ago and they have uh, major investments there uh, quite a number of five-star hotels. My name is Patrick Kogo. I am a sales manager with Optiven Real Estate. We specialize in value-added property. So not only do we have residential uh, properties, we have properties for commercial use, we have properties for speculative use. Um, and the benefit is we offer a 360 solution. Not only do we sell you the value-added property, on top of that, we can also offer you uh, the, construction, uh, the construction services as well. We realize there's a lot of people in the diaspora, they would love to invest back home, 
However, they don't have the right investment partner in order to do so. Optiven has been doing that for the last 24 years. Diaspora, we've been in the diaspora for approximately 10 years. And um, yeah, we're really trying to empower our Kenyans who are in the diaspora to invest back home. The event also saw the participation of government with Emurua Dikir, Member of Parliament and Chairperson of the Housing Committee, Johanna Ngong Geno, fully immersing himself in the happenings of the day. My major reason of attending this particular forum is mm. so that I can also engage the Kenyan population in this country mm. and also in other countries. You can carry this message mm. across. Mm. I know you are somebody who will be visiting so many countries, you've been to the Australia, you've mm. been to the US and, and so many other countries. Our major message here is that um, we want the diaspora, the Kenyans mm -hmm. living in diaspora, mm -hmm. to invest back home. Mm -hmm. You know, these are these are retirement homes. Uh -huh. These are investments mm -hmm. because we have two sections of affordable housing. Mm -hmm. We have we have the affordable housing, and we also have the commercial, mm -hmm. which is affordable, mm -hmm. but not to some extent. This one was a mixture so that we can we can have those who live abroad and wants to come and retire back mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm invest on those uh -huh. particular um, commercial part of the, mm. of the housing program. Now, the Daring Abroad Investment Forums is a creation of Charms Media and a series of global forums aimed at unlocking investment opportunities between Kenya and the diaspora. This year's theme is investing home and abroad. So the next time you're thinking of traveling abroad or you want to see Kenya the way that you have never seen it before because we just don't take you to Mombasa we don't take you to the amazing places that you know we take you to the arid and semi-arid areas we take you to those little known places that are so magical that you cannot believe it is Kenya so that is what Charms Adventure does as of December last year Kenya received about 4 million US dollars in remittances from Kenyans abroad making the diaspora a key player in the country's economy. Thus, the need for such platforms that foster investments. Today, for me, Kenya is an ideal place for inward investments because two reasons. One, you have an economy that is dynamic. You have the population, which is fantastic. You have the youth who are very, very highly educated. So you do not have to worry about the skill sets of these young students that are available to work in Kenya. So I believe Kenya is a good destination in Sub-Sahara to be able to invest. And what is a pro-Kenya event without celebration of our culture and traditional cuisine? After a highly engaging couple of days, the event ended with attendance of a farewell party for Kenya's outgoing High Commissioner to the UK, Manoa Esipishu, held at the same venue. This was a thank you for the good work and dedication in his six years of service here in the UK. What a way to bring to a close the UK chapter of the Daring Abroad Investment Forums. Next stop, the United States of America. Quite musical, quite an amazing experience. Don't miss the next one that is happening in the United States of America. Time now for us to go on a short break. But when we return, more on King's developers and how they have perfected the art of gated communities. Welcome back to the show. Now, we take it upon ourselves to inform you of the various happenings and investment opportunities right here in Kenya. And today, we have King's developers who have perfected the art of gated communities. And here is how. A growing trend in Kenya's real estate space is gated communities. These are residential communities with amenities all contained within an enclosed setting. 
they are popularly characterized by strictly controlled entrances. It's all about prioritizing privacy and security. One developer known for championing such a lifestyle in Kenya is King's Developers. With over 40 projects in the country, the developer is an authority when it comes to luxury living. Yeah, Alex, this is the master bedroom. According to Salome Mukiri, one of King's property advisors, a good example of a gated community is Boma Estate in Rueru. So King's Boma Estate is a project that we started last year. It's under the affordable housing program. We are constructing studios, one bedrooms, two bedrooms and three bedrooms. The project is strategically located. We are along Ruiru Kamiti Road. We are just 800 meters away from Vika Superhighway. So the location is very quite ideal. Nowadays, people are embracing living in gated communities. Before, people used to live in just apartments. But now the good thing about a property like King's Boma Estate, it's inside a gated community. So for a first time home buyer, for an investor, people are looking forward in living in gated communities. There is plenty of parking space, the security is assured. It's a nice concept that people are now embracing. So what we have in mind is a gated community that will host 1,050 families. So the houses will come in with amenities like a children's play area, a community social hall, solar street lighting and lighting in common areas, borehole. The boreholes uh, will ensure there is no shortage of water. Uh, we'll have uh, cabro paved blockways and each unit is coming in with a parking space which is assured on your sales agreement. Boma is one of King's affordable housing projects and is scheduled to be completed by July of 2025. When you think about affordable housing, maybe you are thinking the house is just a simple design, not much. But the good thing about our houses, yes, they are affordable, but there is a lot of space. The three bedroom is 85 square meters. It comes in with a sitting area. It comes in with a dining area. Because the house is family oriented. The master is in suit. There is two extra bedrooms. So for your typical family, let's say you have a family of five, you'll have your house help, you'll have your two kids, you'll have sufficient space in the house. The two bedroom is uh, 75 square meters. When you walk in through the house, you're met by the kitchen. The kitchen comes in with a washing area. The washing area has a provision of the uh, washing machine. So you can put in your washing machine there. It has a hanging area as well. Our studios and one bedrooms are quite also spacious. The studios are 25 square meters and the one bedrooms are 30 square meters. So it's not your typical studio and typical one bedrooms. Karibu Alex. Thank you, Salome. This is the two bedroom standard that I was telling you about. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the sitting area is quite spacious. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the tiles. Have you seen the quality of tiles this, that we've it used? It looks like wood. Yeah, yeah. They, they are wooden. They are like wooden tiles. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, the windows. Mm -hmm. So, enough yeah, enough lighting in the sitting area. It has natural light. We've put in some deco, ya kurembesha nyumba kidogo. Yeah, so here is where the TV will come in. Uh, we'll have an aerial port over there, so you can put in your TV over okay. there. This is yeah. ideal for like a family of how many? It's ideal for a family of five. Five. Yeah, uh -huh. a wife, husband and three kids can comfortably fit into this house. Yeah, Dining area also can accommodate. Uh, yeah, so family. currently the dining area in Yetumeweka Hapo in a fit a three seater, but you can have a five seater comfortably. Okay. Yeah. Nice. The sitting area you can also put in a five seater mm -hmm. or you can modify a bigger L shape. Great. Yeah. Well done. Let's now talk cost. So currently at King's Boma Estate, we have the two bedroom standard available that are going for 3.7 million. The terms of payment are a deposit of 10% upon signing the offer letter. Then the balance is to be paid within 14 months. You might be asking yourself, why are we quoting 14 months? So why we are quoting 14 months is because 
The expected completion uh, date of the project is July 2025, mm -hmm. which is next year, 14 months from now. So within those 14 months, you can choose to be paying monthly, you can choose to be paying quarterly, or you can come up with a personalized payment plan that works within that time frame. So if you would also be interested to get a, a variety of other units, let's say studios, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms, we have a project that we've recently launched in the car called King's Orchid. Mm -hmm. So King's Orchid has studios going for, for as low as one million. Mm -hmm. You can imagine that. When it comes to target markets, Salome says BOMA is for everyone. Those looking for a home or those seeking to invest, those domiciled in Kenya or those daring abroad. This is a viable project from a viable developer. So you don't have to necessarily send someone to come view the property on your behalf. We as the salespeople will be able to assist you through the process of sale. We'll be able to video call you. You have a look at the property that you're interested in buying. We have a 24 hour desk. So anytime that you are interested in uh, getting to know more about our projects, just call, message, write an email. Our team will be able to reach out and guide you through the process of sale. Beat your even window shopping uh, for a house. You can always call us, uh, reach out to us. We'll be able to take you through the process of sale. We appreciate the diaspora markets and the contribution that they are making in investing in Kenya. And uh, for our clients that have already invested with us, that are living abroad, we definitely don't take that for granted. Uh, we've been able to walk you through the journey and we would appreciate more referrals as we walk this journey together. We not only have King's Bomber Estate, we have several projects. King's Bomber Estate is our third project under the affordable housing program. Uh, but uh, as our portfolio speaks for itself, our first ever project under affordable housing is King Serenity in Ongatarongai, where we delivered uh, 734 houses. Then we delivered another project in Nakuru called King Sapphire. King Sapphire, we constructed 605 units, right now fully handed over. Now King's Bomber Estate is our third one under the affordable housing. Soon we will deliver next year, July 2025. And we've gone now to Vika, King's uh, Orchid. It is located in Vika town. And for our viewers out there, uh, who are not only looking for affordable housing, we have we do affordable, middle range and high end apartments. So among our middle range apartments, we have King's Vintage along Gong Road. It's very strategically located. There are two bedrooms that are going for nine million. Uh, we have also now our our newest project. It's called King's Courtyard. It's along Lenana Road. Uh, we have two bedrooms that we are selling for 13 million, and we have three bedrooms that we are selling for 19 million. And then uh, we have also our high-end uh, property. It's in the heart of Kileleshwa. It's called King's Apollo Towers. There we are doing a premium uh, building, premium amenities. So if you're looking for a project that is located in Kileleshwa, high-end finishing, quality finishings, then Kileleshwa. Uh, King's Apollo, it's the project to look out for. Whether high-end or affordable housing, Kings have perfected the art of building quality gated communities while offering a royal treatment to all. So, the next time you're in the market for search, Kings definitely has you covered. Quite magical and beautiful. Many thanks to King's developers and to Alex Chamwada for that amazing piece. With that, we have come to the end of our show today. On behalf of the team responsible for this week's episode, we say many thanks for watching and see you next time.